When I say bananas, you say peppers. And today we are gonna be making another one of my probably favorite type of videos to make on this channel. We are gonna be doing another time capsule unboxing. I think it was a month ago now, we looked inside this little dance duffel bag. I call it a dance duffel bag because I used to take it to dance when I did dance classes. And I think that this had been sealed since like 1996. Long story short, just in case you haven't seen that video yet, my parents have been doing a little fall winter cleaning. So they were taking a bunch of stuff out of the attic and inside of the attic, I just have bunches and bunches of boxes and bags, I guess, of my old stuff from the 90s. I love it digging through this stuff and I feel like you guys really enjoy seeing what's in all of these things too. So I think in total, we're probably gonna be able to make four part video. I think, I think that there's like four tubs plus this bag. So maybe two more after this, maybe three, I don't know. We are gonna jump right in because you guys cannot see it in frame and it is way too heavy for me to pick up. But today we actually have a pretty huge Rubbermaid box full of stuff. I honestly do not know what's in here. My parents just said it was like my old stuff from when I was a kid. So we might see some Lisa Frank. We might see some Furbies. I have no idea, but I'm excited. But before we jump into this box and see what's inside, if you are not already, if you would please take a moment and hit the subscribe button down below. Subscribe, become a member of the Banana Peppers squad today. And also when you hit the subscribe, button make sure and hit the notification bell next to it and select all notifications and then you will be notified every time I upload a new video to this channel. Whew! Okay um I am a little nervous for this box. It smells like an attic. I mean I don't know if all people's attics smell this way or just mine because I live in Texas and it's very you know like I don't know things things that get hot have a smell to them. Does that make sense? Oh! Oh my god! Okay, I'm so excited because right on top, I see something that I have been looking for forever. But uh, the first thing I'm gonna show you guys is this official Pog tournament mat. Look at that. Who wants to do an official Pog tournament with me? And I know the next thing I'm about to say probably is gonna sound really crazy, but hopefully you guys are gonna be excited for this. I bought on Etsy a mystery box of pogs. Mystery pogs. It's like, it's a thing you can buy on Etsy. I'm gonna show you guys something that I have been looking for forever. It's like, sometimes do you ever just have these teeny tiny little memories in your brain? But it's like, you don't know. <laughs> like, I'm like, did, is this like some sort of fever dream I had? Cause I feel like this is a toy that I really loved. I think they were called Jibber Jabbers or something. I had two of them. I had this one that was like an action figure. And then I had another one that the face looked the same. I don't know why it's not focusing on this poor little Jibber Jabber. There we go. But he was like a plush cloth body. I thought these toys were like relatively popular, but subsequently I've never seen them like mentioned. I never see them on any of those. The nostalgia pages, it's like nobody mentions these things but let's see if mine still works oh my god okay see i think the bigger one had two different noise makers it's like you could go like this and he would make one noise and if you shook him the other way like i think that these things on the bigger ones also make a different kind of noise but i love him he's like a rock star i think that there was also a keychain size one but i don't know if i ever had that up next we have a good old yellow treasure troll. Look at the sparkle. Just learned the other day, um, because quite apparently I'm obsessed with Crocs now, and I just learned you can make your own custom gibbets charms, you know, the things that you can like decorate Crocs with, and I kind of want to make a treasure troll one. I feel like that would just be really fun. Okay, um, this is something that I don't ever remember having in my life, but I bet Dogman is going to be excited for it. And who remembers KB Toys? There's still a KB Toys logo on here, but this is a Star Wars 1996 sealed Han Solo in indoor gear. This is something maybe my dad bought at some 
point in time because when I was a kid I only cared about Darth Vader. I never cared about any other character so I don't oh this is another like deep-seated memory and I don't even remember what these things were called but there was a period of time where Kush balls were kind of all the rage and then they came out with these like weird Kush characters where it was like some of them were teddy bears some of them had these just like weird faces inside of them and I my favorite color when I was a little bitty baby was red so like the younger or the older that these toys are, probably the more red they're gonna be. This is something I specifically remember because I loved Batman and Catwoman when I was a kid. So it is a plush body <laughs> Batman doll. I feel like I specifically remembered asking for this. So this is applause brand. And unfortunately I don't see, oh, 1989. He's very old. But uh, I remember I had like larger Batman and Catwoman action figures, but I specifically really wanted something that was soft like a doll so that I could sleep with Batman. Interesting. Okay, this is another toy that I don't 100% remember. 1992. Well, you know what? I remember having this, but I just don't 100% remember like what it is, what character it is. I know Land Before Time came out during this whole period of time, 1992. I never really was into that movie, but like obviously, like if there was a Happy Meal toy and I was eating a Happy Meal, I sure would take that dinosaur toy. Uh, here is another deep-seated memory that I'm sure a lot of you guys are gonna have. Marsupilami. Wasn't that this guy's name? He was like a Disney cartoon that I don't feel like had that many seasons. Up next, I think that we talked about a toy like this last time, but I think it was a Popples thing. Uh, this is Shredder, my all time favorite. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles character. And this is from 1990. This was once again, like on the top of like a bubble bath or some, you know, some kind of like soap type product, maybe like shampoo or something. I remember this guy. I should have literally brought this for this video today because my parents found my shredder cape. My mom, for kindergarten made me a shredder costume. I'll have to see if I can insert a picture. And I had this purple cape and I wore that thing for years everywhere. Just going to the mall, shredder cape. Going to school, shredder cape. Why not? Up next, we have a smorgasbord of toys, like Beanie Babies. Beanie Baby Happy Meal toys. Wow, if I could form a whole sentence, that would be amazing. So we have a couple cheetahs, which seem to somehow be stuck together. We have a squirrel. We have, oh my God. Okay, I'm gonna actually open this one because I love this guy, Iggy Iguana. I don't remember what year, 1999. So this is actually like relatively new in terms of like things in this box. Oh my God, it doesn't wanna open. Come on, Iggy Iguana. Oh, he's so cute. This is actually like a really high quality uh, toy to be in a Happy Meal. It literally feels like those Thai keychains that you can buy today that are called like Beanie Boos or something. Oh my God, it's a Furby. Okay, oh, there's more than one Furby. Oh my gosh, I feel like, okay, so these are the plastic kind from 1998. This has been sealed in there since then. You're coming out now, buddy. And I remember these were like mystery. Oh, it's Furby number four. And oh my gosh, I feel like the value of these things ever since people started doing like the odd body custom Furbies and stuff, these things are like actually quite pricey sometimes on Etsy and stuff because people take them apart and use the faces. And I think his eyes or something is supposed to, oh, there we go. Oh, oh, okay. One foot moves the ears and one foot moves the eyes and the mouth. Oh my gosh. And the fur still looks like brand new. Oh, I'm so excited. Cause um, I don't know if I've ever shown it or talked about it here on this channel, but I have a huge collection of Furbies from all throughout the ages. And I call it the Furby retirement home. So this is mystery Furby number one. And let's see what he is gonna be. Oh, this one looks mad. I've also seen people turn these into earrings and necklaces. Oh my gosh, look at that. That is 
really weird. So he has like a button on his butt and you push it and he like blinks super fast. Oh, we have another one. Okay, Furby number three. Yay. No repeat Furbies from however many years ago. Oh my God. Oh, now I'm seeing like some holy grail items in here. Ooh, oh, this one looks like worried, huh? Doesn't he have like just a, a face of concern? Orange and purple. See, I don't even feel like I remember like these colorways that were like real Furbies. So this one is like a wind up toy. He's one of those where you like pull him back and then I guess he'll look like he's like running with his little Furby feet. I unfortunately don't see any more Furbies, but there are just tons of these. Spunky the Cocker Spaniel. We have Chip the Cat. This just signifies how many Happy Meals I was eating. Oh my God, I love this aardvark. You guys, Dogman and I used to have a Beanie Baby aardvark that we got from the thrift store like a million years ago. I don't know what happened to him, but now we have this little baby. He's so cute. Oh my God, a crab. I'm gonna give this to my mom. So cute. Look at this. He's kind of tie-dye. All right, we have another aardvark. We have a husky. You guys, so many. Like I must have had all of them. Oh, <gasps> it's a frog. Ooh, Smoochy the frog. Let's go ahead and open him up. Oh my God, it's so cute. You guys, I love frogs so much. I feel like Instagram just creepily reads my mind with that and I get shown so many frog devotional pages. It's like pages just devoted to frogs, like plush frogs, real living frogs, fictitious frogs, like Jeremy Fisher, that's the frog's name. And I swear I just saw this guy the other day on a frog appreciation page. Okay, we have another iguana, a blue jay, a, a ostrich. Ew! I don't remember what the ostrich looks like. Look at him. Oh, that is so cute. He's cute. Look at his legs. Ah. Okay, you guys. We have this, which what on earth? Oh my God. Okay, this is a sealed McDonald's Bugs Life watch. Oh my God. Okay, I don't remember having this one, but I have been looking for the Shrek Happy Meal watches for so many years now, you guys. I feel like that's my greatest regret of something that I should have bought at the thrift store and I didn't. Two Shrek watches that I found at the thrift store and I was like, I'm a fashion blogger now and now I really do. I really do wish that I had those Shrek Happy Meal watches. But I do have Clip Talk, Bug Eye Spy. I don't know what year this is from, 1998. I don't remember what year Shrek came out, honestly. But uh, here we go. <gasps> Ooh, there's like water in there. Oh my gosh, you guys. This is really crazy. I do not remember this. And I think they're kind of like stuck there. They're supposed to move around, but it probably at one point had more water. Okay, I got them to move. I don't know if I like replace the batteries, if this is something that would work or not. It would still look so cute, like hanging off of a backpack or something like the bag that I take when I used to go to Disney World. <laughs> I feel like I need to like start moving a lot faster because like we, I am like 10% done with this box. What is this? What is this? This is a Mulan toy? Oh my gosh, look at that. How old is this? I don't remember what year Mulan came out. I guess that was like all the different toys you could get. Hopefully you guys can see that. I do not know why the focusing on this camera today is like evil, but uh, <laughs> oh, it's the dog, right? She had like a little dog or something that was like this. I don't know. Let's, let's watch him jump. You can do it, little buddy. I, I believe in you. I don't know what he's trying to do. You, you can do it. You can do something. Oh, he's trying. Oh my God, it jumps. You can do it, little buddy. Oh, there he goes. Uh -huh. Up next is one of my all-time favorite cartoons as a kid. It is an Animaniacs toy from 1994. And I'm betting this was like a Happy Meal toy of some sort. So I bet they're gonna come out of the side here. Something is gonna happen. 
I feel like I'm gonna break this thing. <gasps> oh my gosh. Okay, it's like on this weird, like, God, this camera. It's on this weird, yeah, look at that. It's like ASMR of some kind, honestly. Yakko, Wacko, and Dot. Up next is Scar. And I bet this was a Happy Meal toy too. Voiced by Jeremy Irons, one of my all time favorite actors. Gotta love him. This thing. Oh, I remember this thing, but I don't know what this thing is. Does anybody know this character? I feel like he was like a mad scientist kind of dude. This is from 1987. So I had this when I was two. And I remember I just loved this guy because he did look like a mad scientist to me. And I was just forever, you know, weird kid, weird person into weird kind of stuff. So, you know, I remember carrying this around all the time. Just an old, weird man. That was my favorite kind of toy growing up though. I used to always ask my parents if I could go to Toys R Us and pick out a little man. I used to always call him a little man. And I loved figures like that, action figures. It literally didn't even matter if I knew what the show or the cartoon, like sometimes I would pick out like little wrestlers, I feel like, or I remember I was like obsessed with the little foot soldier action figure, like even before I knew what Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles were, or before I started watching the show, I had the foot soldier and I carried him around with me everywhere. Maybe we'll find him today. All right, it is Roger Rabbit. Oh, this is so neat. So it looks like it's one of those like viewfinder kind of toys. So he's in the little car and I don't remember what the car's name is. And hopefully you guys are gonna be able to see. Probably not because nothing wants to focus today. Usually this is my best camera and today it's like, ha ha. Okay, can you see that? What is that? You know what? I think that that's like, yeah, Disneyland. Okay, so I remember when these came out and they were like a celebration of a bunch of different rides from I think just Disneyland. I don't think they did Disney World. So I don't know if you guys could really make out clearly or not, but it's showing you Toontown and it's showing you the Roger Rabbit ride in Disneyland. And I don't, I don't remember what that ride's specific name is, but ah! oh my God, reunited you guys. I had this when I was a literal baby. It's like literally even flow brand, like the baby making, <laughs> baby making baby bottle brand, but it's a little apple rattle. And I remember this guy, he used to be suction cupped on my little baby tray. He is so cute. I'm gonna put him somewhere in my filming room, kind of over there in the section of this room that I never film in. I have like a more like modern, I have like a couple shelf cubbies of like more modern items. Oh, this is a treasure troll that must have gotten a makeover by yours truly because it looks like his fingernails and toenails have been painted. I had a ton of trolls. I loved trolls. Yep, this one looks like he would make a great gibbets for a croc, doesn't he? He's so cute. He's little and he looks a little bit different. Like, I feel like at this time, the same time as everything, when whenever something is popular, I feel like you have the official brand and then a bunch of knockoffs. So he kind of looks maybe like an off-brand troll, but it's okay. We love him just the same. Um, all right. Up next, I see some literal holy grail items and uh, they are goosebumps items. I don't remember where I bought them or how I got them. I don't remember if it was like a book fair thing. So if you guys had these two and you remember anything about them, let me know in the comments down below. But they were like school supplies that were goosebumps themed. So I think we're about to open up this mummy and I think he's actually a pencil case. I thought there was a sharpener somewhere on here, but maybe I'm just making that memory up. And the thing that you guys send me all the time, because I feel like this kind of went like semi-viral a year or so ago, there was a alligator stapler and it's like a purple alligator stapler and I don't think I ever had that and I wish I had it now and I've been looking for years to see if I could buy one but I haven't seen one come up on eBay or anything. So this is so cool because it's like a mummy sarcophagus and it has the Goosebumps logo on there and we open it up. Yeah okay I think he's gonna spring out of there. Oh yeah, okay, so that is so funny. I remember it now. So this is a pencil case for two 
exactly two pencils. So you put a pencil in each of his hands and then when he springs up, he's like, here's your pencils. This is so cool. And I'm not sure if I said or not, but it's from 1996. And then I see another Goosebumps thing in here. Okay, so this was just like a Happy Meal toy, I guess. I wanna say that this was from like Burger King and it doesn't have a date on it, but it's another one of those like rolling toys. And as you roll him along, it almost feels like the wheel is like stuck because it's some kind of rubbery. I can't get the, oh, there we go. Okay, hopefully I didn't just break him entirely. Oh, uh, it sounds like he's not working. <laughs> but you're supposed to be able to wheel him along and then the mouth opens and closes. And I think the eyes also like popped out of the head a thousand years ago. All right, you guys, I'm gonna be honest, I might split this out into a part two because I mean, really, like we are, we've only gone through that much stuff. Oh my gosh, okay. Oh, I did see another Goosebumps item and it feels like there's still a battery in here. So I can't believe I was that dumb because it probably won't work now, but definitely if it would have worked, I would have still used this. I remember using this all the time because I used to be like a big time reader when I was a kid. Yeah, I don't know why I'm even like thinking that's gonna turn on. Anyway, it was a Goosebumps reading light. And I remember I used to take this to school with me all the time because we would have like blocks. It was actually like special days, but we'd have like Thursdays or something and it would be like quiet reading time. And we would have like 40 minutes and we could actually like lay on the ground under the desks and stuff and like get comfortable and just like read a book. And I remember I loved that so much because they made these, X-Files books for kids. And I was like so obsessed with the X-Files. And so I just remember that being like the some of my favorite days at school, for which there were few, cause I really, I never liked school, honestly. Um, but I remember that was like really special school days. Oh my God, it's a troll with boobs. Um, it is exercise troll. And I honestly am living for this. <laughs> she has like the 80s jazzercise attire and I'm trying to see a date on this. I don't know if you guys care. I just kind of do that more for my curiosity because I'm just wondering like, when did I own these items? Um, we have a magical little Poppin' Fresh Pillsbury Doughboy. And did you guys remember like grocery stores? They used to have representatives and I think they still do this in like some stores, like fancy stores like Sam's Club or something where they have like brand representatives and they would have like little toys like this, Frisbees, t-shirts, keychains, coupons. Um, and they would just like give you these little toys like this in the store. I wish they still did stuff like that. I feel like, I don't know, I don't know why these brands don't do anything like that anymore, but they don't. Um, here is another thing that, oh my God, I am so glad to be reunited with this guy. This is once again, something I loved as a kid and I don't know, legitimately don't know if it was ever a character or anything. It looks like it's from 1986. I'm trying to make out, yeah, 1986. So this is literally something I had when I was one years old and one year old <laughs> and it's a little vampire. I think he glows in the dark. He's like a rubbery figure, but he's not really like, he doesn't squeak and he doesn't spit water or anything, but he's just this super cute little vampire. And it looks like he has some sort of symbol on his back, but yeah, I don't know. It's not like I was picking out toys when I was one, obviously, but you can tell I come from like a very, <laughs> spooky family where they're like, here, let's give our baby daughter a Dracula. You wonder where I get it from. All right, up next is another true blast from the past. Oh my gosh, this is a toy from Wendy's and it's Alf. Do you guys remember Alf? He was definitely more of an 80s thing than a 90s thing, very early 90s. But I do feel like the show was like ridiculously popular when it was on and I feel like I had a plush Alf at some point. Um, oh, I see another Furby, another Furby. I don't know what this one does. It looks like he just moves his feet again. I don't think he blinks or anything, but he is red with purple. You guys, we are truly enriching the Furby museum today. Oh, is this my big cat woman? 
I'm trying to see if this looks like it's the one that I chewed on the ears. I feel like I had two of these and I would carry these things with me everywhere. But I have one in particular that the ears were chewed to bits. Not from like a dog or an animal chewing on them, but literally me. Literally just me taking a giant cat woman to school every day in kindergarten and then proceeding to bite on the ears of the cat woman. I don't know. This one... Looks like maybe I played with it a lot too because like the arms are kind of loose, but oh my gosh. I always, always loved Catwoman. I don't remember what year I was. Catwoman? This is from 1992. So maybe 1992, maybe that was it. But uh, my mom home made, all my costumes were always homemade and she made me like a homemade Catwoman costume. And oh my God, I loved it. So this, I seem to remember came from like Domino's or something, wasn't it? Domino's always had like those kind of puppet toys that I always thought were so cool. And um, this is one of Casper's Yiddish cousins or something, like his really mean cousins. I don't know why he's doing that symbol. Okay, buddy, like I'm gonna need you to calm down the Illuminati messaging. I don't know what year or why. Yeah, okay, 1995. Up next is something that I have no memory of. Oh, but now I know where this came from. Okay, so like the Disney store, Warner Brothers used to have a Warner Brothers, I think it was called the factory store and it was so cool looking. And the inside, it was like, it was basically like the fancy 90s Disney stores, except for it was all like Looney Tunes, Warner Brothers, Bugs Bunny kind of stuff. So this is a pen and pencil case. And this is something that I oddly enough don't remember because it certainly looks like I must have just used the crap out of this. Like it's all scuffed and scratched. And this is Looney Tunes Back to School 1996. And there is still a pin in there. And you know what? I think that this was like filled with water or something because when you open it up, there's like all of these like gears and mazes and stuff. And I think these like beads and glitter, I think it like you know, floated in there, but obviously with the Texas heat, the water has all evaporated. I have a couple more. Oh yeah, see? Okay, yeah, I loved Kush Balls. This one was like a little blue cat and it has little feet and a little tail. I do think this is the Kush Ball for whatever reason I played with the most and it's like a faded pink Kush Ball. I loved this one. I don't know why I just particularly loved. That was like one of my favorite things to do when I was a kid was like play catch with my dad. So we always had, oh my God, which there's, oh, I hope I find it. There was this weird Nerf toy that I loved with every fiber of my being. And it was called the fly ball. And it was like this little handheld thing, but it had like a bit of plastic in the mouth of this bug. It looked like a fly. It had wings, it had bug eyes, and it had a mouth. And in the mouth, there was like a piece of plastic. So when you would throw it really fast, it would make a buzzing bug noise. That's another thing I've been looking, I can't even find a picture of that on the internet to prove that it's real, but I know it was a real thing. We've got more trolls, you guys. We've got blue trolls. We've got a very, very loved, red troll. I wonder if I can fix his hair. Can I make his hair better? We have a weird troll. I feel like they started doing like other like troll cartoons and stuff where the characters looked different. Like I remember there was like the tough trolls or something and they had all these like muscles. Very weird. Oh my god! Okay this is Percy from Pocahontas, one of my all time favorite cartoon slash Disney characters ever. I don't know why I like this little dog so much, but I did. And um, I actually still have, this was like my favorite shirt to wear as a kid, but I had a Percy t-shirt and it said spoiled on it. And I just, that was, that was my energy when I was a kid. Um, okay, there we go. Let's see him do his thing. He's still got it. 
Yeah, I don't know. I liked I liked all that like spoiled stuff. Like they used to always make those t-shirts and I feel like they're kind of like having a moment of revival right now where it's like spoiled or something like that. Cause I feel like that used to not be like a bad thing. Like when I was a kid, I was like, I'm spoiled. And like now I feel like if you say I'm spoiled, everybody's like, you're the devil now. It's like, it's a whole, a whole different vibe. It's not that serious. Anyway, up next, I've got something I definitely remember from 1989. Oh my God. I think that we're going to open this up and I think that there's a little comb in here. So it's a Hello Kitty comb compact. And I feel like this was just about the girliest toy I had in 1989. I hope, I think there was a mirror in here too and it feels like stuff is moving around. So hopefully, whew, I was like, is this going to be broken glass? Let's hope not. So it looks like there's some sort of dirty mirror in here and a Hello Kitty hair comb. Ooh, up next is something that I really, really remember once again having, but I don't remember what character this is or what type of toy this is, but it almost looks like another little toy that's popular today, like these little fuzzy animal action figures, but he is so adorable. I remember like flocked toys were kind of like all the rage back in the day. Oh my God, I loved these Happy Meal toys too from McDonald's. I have no idea. I guess McDonald's was just way ahead of their time in 1993 where they were making these weird, like it's called a sound machine. And oh, it still makes the noise. Cause I think that's like a rubber band in there, but that's so cool. And then you can twist this knob. And then this I think is like a slide whistle that I would now no sooner put in my mouth than the man in the moon. So I think you like blow into that end and then you can like make it make different noises by doing that. But oh my God, I love this. I still remember sitting in the back of my parents' car and just going like this over and over again, slowly driving them crazy, I'm sure. Up next, who is this? Oh, it's the beast. I loved the beast. And I was always mad when he wasn't the beast anymore. Like when he turned into like a human prince, I was like, really, why did you do that? Why did you have to do that? But here he is in his beastly form. And I feel like Beauty and the Beast is honestly probably one of my all time favorite Disney movies. I know I've talked about this memory all the time, but just because I loved it when I was a kid. And then when I grew up, Dogman and I were in a live version of Beauty and the Beast and I was the feather duster. And I loved, I don't know why I loved being the feather duster so much, but it's just highlight, highlight of my youth. Um, here is another beast. And this was a Happy Meal toy because he says, Burger King. And you know what? I know everybody roast Burger King all the time, but I legitimately love Burger King. I loved Whoppers when I was a kid. And then like all up until literally you guys, I haven't eaten fast food in a year, except for Chick-fil-A, which I don't consider fast food, but I haven't even had Chick-fil-A since February. But uh, back when I was eating fast food, I still loved the chicken sandwiches. I love Burger King. I feel like everybody's always like, Burger King is trash. And like, I don't know if it's kind of like a regional thing, like maybe in other states, maybe Whataburger sucks. Sorry, now I'm saying Whataburger. Whataburger has never sucked. Anyway, uh, Burger King. Maybe Burger King sucks in other areas, but I swear Texas Burger King is so good. Okay, up next I see a sealed Pocahontas toy. So we're gonna go ahead and open it. And you guys, I think we are coming to a conclusion for this video because we're maybe halfway done and the little like warning light came up on the camera that it's overheating. And I only have four minutes of memory left on this card. So, oh my gosh, yeah, this was Burger King too. I feel like Burger King like struck a deal with Disney in the 90s because they had those like special collector's cups that I loved so much. You could get them for like 99 cents when you purchase any kid's meal. And then they were the ones who were always like exclusively making the Disney toys. So hello, it's Miko. And I loved Pocahontas too when I was a kid. I feel like Pocahontas honestly has like probably the best soundtrack out of any Disney movie ever. So yeah, I don't, I don't know what I was saying with that. Oh yeah, I remember my dad like telling me that in the news and he's like, oh, Disney struck a deal with Burger King or something. I don't know why, I don't know why I have like those specific memories. Can't remember anything else in my life, but I do remember my dad telling me about the exclusive Burger King Disney Happy Meal 
business deal. Uh, so it looks like we have another Happy Meal toy from Lion King and it's Rafiki. And he looks like he's gonna be another puppet in a box. Look at him, he looks so cute. These are like such detailed, super cute toys. Okay, we have a Pikachu something. I don't even know what this is. Maybe it's a top or something. See, I feel like that's the one thing that I really wish I would have gotten into that I never did, which was Pokemon. Oh my gosh, I remember these, but I also don't. They're these teeny tiny little books from Scholastic and they are called Shock Shots. So I guess this one was all about monsters and they are these teeny tiny itty bitty little books. This one is from 1993. So let's do a quick flip through. Let's see if we can find Bella Lugosi. Where are you, my dear? Where are you? That's not you. Are you in here? How could you not be in here, Bella Lugosi? How could you? Oh, we have Bo Bigfoot though. I almost called him Bugfoot. I don't know what that is. Um, okay, I don't wanna stop, but I also know that I must stop. So I will just end it with this one little special thing. I hope that this still works. I had this when I was a literal infant and it's like one of those things you give to babies so that you can start their vanity off young. It's like a mirror baby noise making flapping bird. And it still works. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. I definitely pulled it down way too much. Uh, let this creepy lullaby be our outro music, but I literally have one minute. So I'm sorry this is a two-parter. Let me know if you want me to do the next one in less of a storytelling fashion where I sort of like describe little blurbs about each little memory that I have with each one of these little items. If you guys just want me to kind of be like, this is this, this is that, this is this. I kind of like doing the storytelling vloggy bits with like the little like memories that I have with each thing, but maybe that is annoying to you guys. But anyway, I'm gonna go and I will be back again with the part two and other videos very, very soon. But until I see you guys again, stay happy, stay healthy, stay sassy, stay banana peppery. I love you guys so, so much. And I will be back again probably tomorrow. I feel like I'm kind of on a daily roll with this channel. Bye!